Good morning. We hope this is going to work outside today. Kind of mosquito-y. And we have trucks going by that are they're doing asphalt down the road. So, oh wow. We realized that after we got set up. It takes out them here. a full 90 seconds <laughs> to get past. Yeah. Oh, here comes another one. Uh, it sounds like it. So, um, we're going to be singing <laughs> one of our favorite hymns. Oh, yeah, yeah. A uh, baptism hymn, God's Own Child, is number 594. And there are a couple of hymns in the hymnal that address, that talk to Satan, which I think is kind of cool for the Christian to address Satan. And this one also talks to death and disparages the grave. So it's a very bold song. Yeah, so we'll um, disparage for, for the, the asphalt trucks. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I thought there were like one, one truck every 15 minutes. Now there's been three trucks. Right. These are quieter trucks, though. That one was a little quieter. <laughs> God's own child, I gladly say it. I am baptized into Christ. He, because I could not pay it, gave my full redemption price. Do I need as treasures many? I have one worth more than any that brought me salvation free. Lasting to eternity. Sin disturbed my soul no longer. I am baptized into Christ. I have comfort even stronger. Jesus cleansing sacrifice. Should a guilty conscience seize me, since my baptism did release me in a dear forgiving blood, sprinkling me with Jesus' blood. <laughs> Speaking of blood, talking about you landed right on my face. <laughs> I made it through that verse, but. Satan, hear this proclamation, I am baptized into Christ. Drop your ugly accusation, I am not so soon enticed. Now that to the font I've traveled, all your might has come unraveled, and against your tyranny. God, my Lord, unites with me. Death, you cannot end my gladness. I am baptized into Christ. When I die, I leave all sadness to inherit paradise. Though I lie in dust and ashes, face on the shore of its brightly flashes, baptism has the strength to divine to make life immortal mine. There is nothing worth comparing to this lifelong comfort sure. Open-eyed, my grave is staring, even there I'll see secure. Though my flesh awaits its raising, still my soul continues praising. I am baptized into Christ, I'm a child of paradise. Oh, we made it to that. <laughs> I got the dotted quarter note every time. Oh, That's it's nice just too. so hard singing but. these songs against <laughs> Satan. He must yes. have been working against us. He must have. <laughs> Remember, it's the devil, the world, and our flesh. My, the weaknesses of my flesh are obvious enough. But it's the world also. These mosquitoes don't have to be <laughs> Satan. <laughs> ah. uh, First John 5, verse 6, testimony concerning the Son of God. This is he who came by water and blood, 
Jesus Christ, not by the water only, but by the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one who testifies because the Spirit is the truth. For there are three that testify, the Spirit and the water and the blood. And these three agree. If we receive the testimony of men, the testimony of God is greater, for this is the testimony of God that he has borne concerning his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has the testimony in himself. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar because he has not believed in the testimony that God has borne concerning his Son. And this is the testimony that God gave us eternal life and this life is in his son. Whoever has the son has life. Whoever does not have the son of God does not have life. So John's responding to the question that he asked at the end of yesterday's reading. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the son of God? And he's responding to that. Um, we believe that Jesus is the son of God. How do we know that? And he has these witnesses the spirit the blood uh, the spirit the water and the blood and he's referring to the beginning and ending of jesus ministry that jesus ministry began with his baptism at which god testified to who this was this, this is my beloved son uh, in whom i'm well pleased um uh, whoever doesn't believe god has made him a liar because he's not believed the testimony that god has that god has borne concerning his son god said this and so the beginning of Jesus' ministry, his identity is established in the water, in his baptism. And then at the end of Jesus' ministry, his identity is established in the blood, in his sacrifice on the cross. Uh, the fulfillment of all that God had said in the Old Testament of what he would do in sending his son. Um, so that sounds, okay, got that, but uh, what's, the, what's the significance? You know, I... I remember uh, if, when we were going to do this inside, there was the, the board behind us that uh, with the sample stains, oh. and I forgot I was going to refer to that. Uh, we're trying to pick out what. Do you want me to what, get it? No, that's quite all right. <laughs> okay. What color to stain our house? And it was making me remember uh, my freshman year in high school. I was working in a furniture store, and. Uh, a daughter of uh, of one of the employees there, um, a high school student older than me, she said she said uh, to me, "You live on Green Street, in a green house. Your parents drive a green car, and you have a green personality." <laughs> like, thank you very much. <laughs> you you thought all day about saying that, didn't you? And I mean, it's like. Why do, why do girls do that? Do they, don't, do they realize how they can just sort of crush a guy? But, but it was, it threatened to establish my identity. In fact, for a while, you know, that bothered me. I still remember it, obviously. But you've never repeated it. Well, and, that, and that's why we're not going to have a green, <laughs> this is not going to be a green house. Um, but you love green. I, Look yeah. at all the green trees. I in love there. green, mm -hmm. but <laughs> not like that. What's our identity? I wish I had really been, I mean, I knew this already then. I'd been confirmed. I, I knew these scriptures, but to really know it, who are you? What is your identity? I'm baptized into Christ. And, and the, that Jesus' identity was clear in the water and the blood, and Jesus has placed that identity on me, that I am God's child, because I also have been through the water. Uh, God has washed me, and I also have received the blood of Jesus Christ in the Lord's Supper, and, and his blood was shed for me. And so, and so Jesus' identity changes my identity. So that we can, we can dismiss Satan, and we can laugh at the grave and at death, because those don't disturb us. We are baptized into Christ. What's your identity? Maybe you feel kind of green. 
green around the gills or today or or uh, are kind of black, kind of dark. Um, people I try to identify, they're black, they're white, they're brown, they're people of color, they're uh, whatever, whatever um, identities we have, this is the one that matters. <laughs> this is the one that matters. That by the Spirit, through the water, in the blood, we belong to our Heavenly Father. Lord God, help us to know who we really are. Whatever goes wrong today, however others may look at us, whatever has happened in the past that's given us some sort of identity, Lord, we know who we truly are in you. We're your child. Let us live in that way today with confidence, with comfort, and with hope. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen.